guys, welcome back, I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips and kind of like a little guide if you want to get into vintage luxury shopping or if you've been doing this for a while but you just want some like extra tips. Um, I've recently been obsessed, you guys, obsessed with anything vintage luxury and obviously when I say vintage, I'm talking like 10, 20 years old. I'm just like, ugh, I'm obsessed. And I have a haul coming up because I found so many amazing pieces. Uh, I, I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Um, but anyway, so for the last couple of months, I've really been into this and I've learned a lot, um, which is kind of funny because to be honest, I don't really like thrifting. I just, I think it's great. It's a great thing to do, don't get me wrong. But I absolutely hate hate going into thrift stores and just like digging around for hours to find something that I then like if that makes sense. I'm the type of person like I know what I want and <laughs> I just want to go into store and go right back out. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I have a couple of tips if you're like me and you don't like that either um, that might help you out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, starting off with number one, which is doing your research. I always love this as my first point in these types of videos because doing your research with anything shopping related is so important to make sure that you get the best deal when it comes to vintage luxury shopping. You know, we're thinking, oh, secondhand, so we might get like a good deal, but oftentimes prices are absolutely insane um, because the items are, you know, high in demand. There aren't many of them, you know, around anymore. A lot of the pieces are rare sometimes, which is what makes the price go up. So it's really important to do your research. I would recommend to maybe like write down a list of things that you're actually looking for because trust me, if you just go, <laughs> if you just go searching wildly, like without any idea of what you want, you're going to end up buying a bunch of things and then maybe you regret it or you're going to end up buying things from the first website and you could have found them for a little cheaper on another website. So doing your research again is just really important. Write everything down, like everything that you're looking for. I would write down on a piece of paper or in your notes on your phone. That's what I do all the time. And um, also come up with a price that you're willing to pay and then do some research on that particular item or the items that you're looking for to see for how much like they go for on different websites. And another tip that I wanted to give you guys is depending on where you live, like if you don't live in LA or New York, like for me, I live in Columbus, um, it's really worth it to call around your local thrift stores. Um, maybe, maybe like the thrift stores that are a little more, I don't want to say upscale, but like you know, there are thrift stores and then there are thrift stores. So maybe thrift stores that, that focus on like particularly vintage items, just calling around and seeing what you can find because sometimes they do have authentic luxury items um, for really cheap because the area you live in, you know, they might not know how to price it or, you know, there's just not the need. Like the customers that go in necessarily like won't buy that type of item, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that's my first tip. Let's talk about authenticity which is really, really important. And I feel like there are lots of things we can do wrong and then there are lots of things that you can do right, we can do right. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little intimidating because we don't wanna end up with a fake, right? At least I know I don't. No judgment if you buy fakes, but that's just not something that I support uh, or that I wanna purchase. So anyways, I feel like it's a little easier in person. So if you're in a thrift store and you see an item that is a luxury item, you might be able to spot immediately if it's it's authentic or not, especially if you have some experience and if you're someone that buys luxury items all the time. Now, if you're new to this, I highly encourage you to um, pull out your phone and compare some pictures, do some research before just purchasing the item because at thrift stores, especially local ones, there are lots and lots and lots of fake designer items. So make sure to do your research if you don't want a fake item. But if we're talking about shopping online, it can be a little harder because you're not able to see the item in person. So what I would recommend is to look for sellers that have lots and lots of photos. That is always really important. I wouldn't go with someone that only posts you know, one or two pictures of the item. It's really hard to you know, investigate and um, you know, just have enough pictures of the item to see if it's real or not. So you have to make sure that you're going with a seller that has lots and lots of pictures. And then obviously try to go with a trusted seller, okay? There are so many amazing 
amazing vintage resellers out there that sell 100% authentic items and have great reviews, which I'm gonna give you guys a list of them at the end of this video because trust me, I found the most amazing ones ever. Um, but I know that sometimes when we do vintage luxury shopping, we're trying to find good deals. So, you know, we look on eBay or Etsy. There's so many people on Etsy. Now, if you find an account on Etsy, Here's what you can do. This is always what I do. If I find an account on Etsy that sells luxury items, number one, I look at the pictures. Number two, and this also, you can probably also do this with eBay or something like that, but um, I look at the pictures and then I look at obviously the reviews and stuff like that. And then usually at the bottom or wherever, uh, or e even at the top, it says like the um, name of the shop. Look it up on Instagram. Okay, that's so, so important. Look it up, up on Instagram and then see what vibe you get. And then oftentimes, after you do that, they probably have a link of an actual website in their um, description box on Instagram, and then you can check that out as well. And sometimes you find really good sellers that way. Moving on, let's talk about condition because that is something really important to take into consideration and that you should know about if you're not familiar with it. I'm sure lots of you already know this, but this isn't like vintage Shopping in general, like it's not like buying a used item from last year. It's a lot different because the items are oftentimes so flipping old. So we are talking, there might be some mold, there might be smell, um, the handle might be falling apart, the leather might be, you know, ripping apart. Um, maybe there are color transfer stains. Maybe the inside is a little bit of yellow, depending on what, you know, the color is. Um, maybe the inside is sticky. A lot of Louis bags, if they're really, really old, for whatever reason, they get really sticky on the inside, which is kind of gross. Um, a lot of the stuff that is like dirty or stained, you can sometimes clean. So just because an item is a little bit dirty, don't just be like, oh no, I don't want to get it. Um, because you might be able to get a really good deal for a bag that you can just then take home and clean up yourself or even have it restored. That's another thing to keep in mind. Like there are lots of places where you can send your designer bag to and have it restored, which is something that I don't really want to do. I'm really weird when it comes to that. Like I don't, I don't know. I feel, I, I just don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I know a lot of people do it though and it's a great thing to do. I just don't personally like it. Um, but anyways, like for me, I'm obviously okay with a little bit of wear and tear. And for me, that just adds character. It means that, you know, someone has used and lived in that bag or whatever it is you're buying vintage. Um, I don't know. I really like it. But there are certain things that I'm not okay with. So for me personally, I don't, I, if, if it's moldy or if it smells, I don't want it. I don't care how cheap it is. You couldn't force me to take it. Like I don't know nope, mold and smell. I don't like there are other people that are okay with that. Um, so it just, again, like I said, it depends on personal preference. Um, know what you're okay with and then do your research on that. Uh, oftentimes if it is a good seller, it will have all of that stuff listed, but you've got to watch out because some people won't list that stuff. So yeah, just something to really take into consideration and think about. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to share just a few of my favorite stores to shop from when it comes to vintage luxury. Um, these are all amazing stores. They all sell 100% authentic item items. They know what they're doing. And uh, with that being said, some of them are a bit more on the pricier side so if you're looking to like really find a good deal you know these shops might not be for you but if you care about authenticity and if you want a great selection let me just repeat this a great selection of vintage luxury items then these are the shops for you starting off with the first one which is what goes around comes around if you have ever been into the store in New York then you're gonna know that they have the most amazing vintage collection ever like ever, so, so cute. However, their stuff is so, so expensive. I mean, so expensive, um, but they do have a great selection. So if you don't care about the money, this would be a great store for you. Number two is one of my favorites, which is called Treasures of NYC. If you've not heard about this store before, I would highly recommend you head over to their Instagram, check them out and thank me later. They are so freaking good. I could spend hours and hours and hours on their website. I feel like this one does have some really good prices. They're not too bad and they do have a pretty good selection, but their stuff sells out so fast. So you definitely have to like keep checking their site if you're looking for something like special or you know something you had in mind um next up is a shop that i recently discovered but that i really like and wanted to support now this is a black owned shop so go support her um and i have to look up the name because 
I can never remember it. It's DMT Vintage. I actually found her on uh, Etsy and then checked out her Instagram and her website and I really want to support her because she has some amazing pieces and I love what she does so definitely check her out and um, you might find something amazing on her website. I've actually purchased from her before and yeah, she's legit. Um, and then last but not least, probably my favorite boutique out of all of the ones that I just mentioned. Like I love this boutique so much, literally obsessed with it. It's called Moonstone Vintage LA. And again, if this is a shop that you've never heard of before, go check it out. They have an even better selection in my opinion than what goes around comes around. I mean, she is killing it. So many amazing pieces. Prices, it's kind of weird. Some of their stuff is priced really high, some stuff isn't. Um, you can also find them on Etsy and then they have a website, but she has amazing pieces. So yeah, great, great selection. Um, and yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you find, found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna know more about vintage luxury shopping, ask me some questions and I might do another video. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.